This is a video showing how to use the weather dashboard for the new wireless weather sensor with GPS. First, I'll go to my Bluetooth icon at the top and go down and choose my weather sensor. Once that's paired, you'll see the display on this left-hand side has changed so that a weather dashboard is now available. I'll click on Done to exit the pairing menu. I now have a display on my home screen for the different measurements that are available from the sensor. To display the weather dashboard, I'm going to click on this link over here. Wait a moment or two while it uh, builds the displays. And now we have a display of the different measurements that are available through this sensor. So this dashboard has a couple different pages to it. We have the first page that displays, uh, we have this first page that displays a great number of different measurements. It is possible to change the displayed units with one click by clicking on this US customary and then you can then instead select metric if that's the, uh, the values that you wish to see. We also have other displays built into this workbook so that you can track trends for temperature versus time. To display the time axis, it's already here, but you can close down the uh, menu here to see the time that's available. Um, also, you can change the display time units by clicking on the, uh, the unit here. And then within the right-hand side here, you can uh, instead change from seconds to a larger uh, time scale to minutes. It's also possible to display not only just the time, but also date and time for longer uh, scale uh, data acquisition. And again, uh, other displays are available for displaying relative humidity, dew point, and absolute humidity. The same procedures can be used as before to change the time scale on the horizontal axis. Barometric pressure can also be tracked, and uh, units can also be changed as well if desired. Since the GPS sensor uh, within the uh, weather sensor uh, can give you the coordinates of where you are, uh, right now I'm inside a building, so it uh, d uh, does not display that just yet, um, but if I click on the, the record button, if it has, in fact, uh, determined my location, uh, as you can see it has, I'm in Roseville, California, I can zoom in on that location and then uh, display uh, particular uh, values here. For instance, it's uh, seeing that my uh, height has not changed more than a meter while I've been sitting at my desk here. Um, some small wander that you're seeing here is because of the uh, the error in uh, locating things. However, the, the scale here is within a meter. The different uh, measurements that are displayed uh, can be changed by clicking on this icon here, and then you can select uh, any of the different uh, measurements here. Also within this uh, sensor, we can track the, uh, the UV level and the luminance uh, versus time. So you can see uh, visible wavelengths versus the UV wavelengths that are um, being transmitted through the atmosphere and see their relationship. And finally, we have an active uh, compass measurement here so that as I change the orientation, um, it tracks the uh, compass direction. That could be uh, important if you're using the weather vane accessory uh, to determine which way the wind is blowing from. We also have on this uh, right-hand display, it can track the wind speed. And then again, uh, to, to see the display, click on this small icon here to display the time axis.